Alright, hello, Zoke here for AMVT Productions tutorial series for the Adobe products. Today I've got an interesting lesson for you. I've still been seeing quite a few people on YouTube using Vegas and After Effects together, Vegas, Premiere, and After Effects, and a bunch of programs. This lesson isn't trying to say that that's wrong or there's anything wrong with that. I'm just going to show you that there is a much easier way to do it. The Adobe products are a production suite. They work together, they integrate seamlessly and amazingly together and give you such a huge control over it. Vegas does not directly copy paste into After Effects, or at least I haven't ever gotten it to work. I've tried. So, but Premiere does, and that's what I'm going to try to show you today. Here, let me just open up the previous project. Look at that. I hope my screen capture program isn't having a fit on capturing two screens at once, so hopefully this works out. Anyways, let me import some video footage and show you what I'm talking about. Anime, familiar, not avatar, I know you can't go over there. Ignore that, click on Vista. I'm gonna use my. Damn it! Damn it! Ah! Oh. Forget it. I'm just gonna ignore it. Pretend it's not even there. Use my Windows Media Video because it doesn't make Premiere screen up here. All right. So I'm gonna drag this over here. Selection and some r random footage. All right. Got my first little sequence here. Just drag some video. Just doing some random stuff. Not really syncing it. Anything. Just grabbing some random clips. Alright, guess I should grab a random bit of music. Open. Let's grab some other random clips. All oh, this is ridiculously too long for an AMV. But anyways, okay, so here I am in Premiere. Premiere doesn't have anything too fantastic to offer in the way of effects. I mean, it's kind of we much weaker than Vegas. I mean, we don't have nearly the amount of awesomeness that Vegas does offer. Vegas is good software, but it's a bit like Premiere and After Effects shoved together. Here is why the two are better separate. Premiere forces me to focus on one precise element of making an AMV. I can only really mess with the timing right now and the content of clips. It forces me to look at the clips and focus on them and sync the content to the music. I have to, that's all I can do in Premiere. I mean, most of the effects won't carry over when I show you what I'm about to do. I mean, and most of the effects are lame and I do not like this kind of interface for trying to do effects. It's not streamlined for effects. Neither is Vegas really. You have to open up a bunch of other windows and the keyframes are separate. It's a bit annoying, but you can just copy and paste it over into After Effects, and everything is carried over. Everything's there, all separate. The timing is maintained, the music is brought over, everything is still here. All the timing I didn't do, and all that other stuff. And now I can control each one of these in clips individually as though it was in Vegas. And I have a huge amount of control over it. I have a massive amount of effects. These are types of effects. Each one of these twiddles down and has a list of individual effects. Vegas gives you a series of plugins that are grouped effects thrown together. There are some standalone effects, but these are all the individual effects that go into making every single thing that Vegas does. 
I have immense control over it. None of these really self-animate. I have to use scripts to make each individual element self-animate how I want. I have a huge amount of control. Also, it's right there, just like I said. I can adjust the timing a bit, but okay, why do I need Premiere at all? Why can't I just do this in After Effects? I mean, why even bother installing Premiere? Drag this over. Ap Let me just make this as simple as possible. After Effects is terrible for trying to sort through or scroll through 30 minutes of video. If I take this, where is it? Um, this. Say I want a different scene. It's 30 minutes long. I can't even see all of it in the standard comp. The entire thing is already there and I have to scroll through it manually, clipping the end to try to get it to the scene I want. That's ridiculous. It will take forever to get every single individual scene that you want into After Effects. Pinoy Ward 7up claims to do everything in s only After Effects. I don't know how. I would lose my mind and rip off my face. I mean, just raw. I couldn't do it. Anyways, this hopefully gets the point across that After Effects and Premiere synergize. It's a Guild Wars term. They synergize very well and just go together so perfectly. And now I can do my little null object I made last time. Shigigity boom, it shakes. That has nothing to do with what I was talking about, but hopefully a quick little lesson reiterating the point that After Effects and Premiere go together real well. So as I said, now I have all of After Effects' awesomeness and Premiere's easy navigation in one little thing. Dual screens help. Dual screens for the win. Alright, that's everything for today. I will check you later today, actually. I'm planning on doing another short little lesson real quick. Also, by the way, I am planning on covering the rest of Premiere's basics, but um, my cheapy hard drive I got to save my screenshots to um, blew up for all intents and purposes, so I'll have to re-record those and post them. So apologize for that. I am skipping ahead still. I do plan on going back and covering the basics to bring hopefully the entire AMV community up to speed and we will all be macing, making awesome leap movies and we'll all have a thousand subscribers. Hopefully anyways. Alright. Talk to you guys later.